rescued as a child by the legendary assassin Moody and trained in the family business, Anna is the world's most skilled contract killer. But when Moody, the man who was like a father to her and taught her everything she needs to know about trust and survival, is brutally killed, Anna vows revenge. As she becomes entangled with an enigmatic killer whose attraction to her goes way beyond cat and mouse, their confrontation turns deadly and the loose ends of a life spent killing will weave themselves even tighter. First of all, this movie has many great talents. There's director Martin Campbell, and then it has Maggie Q, Michael Keaton, and Samuel L. Jackson starring. On paper, this movie has all the makings of a slick, sexy action thriller with a strong emotional core. In practice, unfortunately, it's a mess that consumes any hint of tension, chemistry, and excitement which is downright shocking when you consider who's involved and how familiar this territory is for them. It's delivering an absurd story alongside minimal action that hardly lives up to even the smallest of expectations. There's a little good that can be said about this movie. For starters, the story is all over the place. It could have taken place anywhere in the world without changing much. It hopes and skips from its plot point to the next without much care for emotional coherence. Moody's death feels like a mystery up until the third act, but even then the reasoning behind things is spotty at best. Plot logistics are so much more important than emotions that they consume any semblance of story. The relationship between Moody and Anna is tilted and it permeates the rest of the film, especially when Keaton's character enters the fray. Both Q and Keaton speak at a rapid-fire pace, but neither one seems to consider or react to others' advances. When their dialogue turns to flirtation, something feels deeply off. The nearly 30-year age difference between them does no favors either. The movie fails to sufficiently explain Keaton's character basic function in it. His character does eventually assume a greater importance to the story, but only because the overaching plot is patchy enough to make room for him. Anna and Moody have the occasional chat about the morality of their job, but they never actually wrestle with what they do. Every moral question the film presents is neatly categorized into black or white shortly thereafter. Characters come in and out of the picture with little to no explanation. Bad guys get replaced by apparently even bigger bad guys, although the film does a poor job at even offering a simple explanation of who they are. Basically, everyone is out to kill Anna, and that's all you need to know. The action also feels limp. The fight scenes in the movie are infrequent and unspectacular. Every bit of fight choreography feels designed for a minimum impact. It's edited to feel sluggish, and the camera rarely if ever moves in a way that captures momentum. Overall, this movie is a mess. We do not recommend this movie at all.